Hello everyone, my name is Snake Peter Man. Welcome to the Valentine's Day special. Today I'm making one of the best things in the world, the best cookies, the best dessert that you could possibly ever have. Loft house cookies. If you got any sugar, powdered sugar, if you got any butter, more butter, even more butter. If you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream, I got extra of everything pretty much. If you got any sprinkles, because you gotta put a little pizzazz on there. You got some bleached flour, you got salt, we got food coloring. Make sure to get lots of food coloring. Vanilla extract. The baking soda and the vinegar, ignore that for now. You're gonna need baking powder. You got eggs in a bowl, a pan, and a mixer. That's, that's pretty much all you're gonna need. You're gonna have two and a half cups of powdered sugar. But, I didn't add an extra half, but it still worked. It still worked, just two and a half. It's very messy, watch out. You add some salt. Uh, the exact measurement? I don't know. It seemed like one fourth of a teaspoon or something, and I just used a teaspoon and was like, this would be good enough. So, you're gonna add some heavy whipping cream to this. Now, I tried so, so hard to open this up. You know, you can see me struggling here. I tried it, and you know, I was gonna persevere through it. But I gave up, I just cut it open. It worked fine, it's whatever. So, I added it to it. And here I added a little bit more, just in case anything was left over in the measuring cup. You guys have vanilla extract. Now make sure not to add a lot of this. This is so potent, it won't taste that good. Make sure to not add too much. If you add too much, it's gonna be, it's gonna be messed up. Oh, and there it is, okay. Well, whatever. So you're gonna mix it. You gotta make sure it's on low because the powdered sugar will go everywhere because it's just so light. This goes on for a while. All right, so you're gonna take this fluffy white goodness. You're gonna take it out. I did taste this. It's very sweet, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't eat it like that the whole time. Just like that. So you're gonna put it into bowls. However many colors you want is how many bowls you should get. And I didn't make a whole lot of this because I just used the plain regular recipe because I was not going to risk doing it wrong and wasting all the ingredients. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Ashy elbows or powdered sugar? You tell me in the comments. So, I added some red, and I knew because of the white of the, uh, the mixture that it was going to dilute the red and it was going to be more of a pink color. And I added it, I think, about three drops, and it became this very bright and pink, and it's so, so satisfying to see these colors mix. And here on the second one, I used red and blue to make a nice purple color. I don't even know what kind of purple that is, but if I had a favorite purple, that'd be my favorite purple. Put plastic wrap over it, and you're going to set it off to the side for at least 24 hours before you can continue on. Now, I didn't know about this, so you guys are going to have to wait until the next video to find out how to finish these cookies up. So, thank you all. Make sure to subscribe and like, and watch the next video if you want to know how to make these DIY Loft House cookies, because we all know this, these cookies are the best thing in the world. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.